this webinar is being recorded, and so uh, the link to it will be available after the, the webinar has finished for anyone who signed up for it. Uh, my name is Kevin Smith. I'm the Director of Product Development at StockTrack, so I'm responsible for all the new features, and if there's anything that you need that you don't have, I'm the person to talk to to get it added to the platform. So this webinar, it's going to be fairly short. Uh, we have a lot of stuff that we're launching for the fall of 2023. Uh, we do also have some really great stuff that's coming up that we're working on now that I'm going to talk about a little bit towards the end. Uh, I'm not going to keep you for the full half hour, though, uh, but there's plenty of time for questions towards the end. Uh, just for reference, there is a QA box. So if you have any other if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them there, and I can see them as well while we're going. So a uh, quick rundown of what we're going to go over. Uh, Stock Trek 6.0. Uh, if you've been looking at these webinars over the last year or so, you've kind of seen this come up a few times, and we're doing a full launch now. Uh, we have some updates to how uh, students and uh, professors interact with Stock Trek through the mobile interface. We have some big updates to our crypto trading pit and our option spreads trading. Uh, we have a new feature called Teams. Uh, we actually released it for some of our site license professors about a year ago, but now it's available for all classes. And we have some updates to our budgeting game for um, professors teaching personal finance. So to go through these in detail, StockTrack 6.0. So if you've been using StockTrack in last uh, in this spring or last fall, you would have already seen some of the StockTrack 6.0 features come in. This was a major design uh overhaul of the stock track platform so this kind of is it's called stock track 6.0 because this is the six major revisions since we first launched 30 years ago um, which kind of gives you an idea of how big of a change this was so the big parts of this is that all of the trading pits have been redesigned from the ground up all the portfolio pages all the professor reports um, this is actually related to the next point uh, some one of the big advantages of the stock track 6 platform is that it's mobile optimized uh, if you're using StockTrack from about 2014 until just this semester, if your students tried to access the site through their phone, they would get kind of a trimmed down mobile version. And with this new revision, everything that's available on the desktop version is also available on the phone, so it's, it, including tablets. So it's really optimized to be used on every device. The so students can access it just like you know most students at this point uh, would be trading in real life, mostly do, with a Robinhood app or something. So this is kind of more in line with how an individual usually trades in the real world. Uh, the big addition to that means that in any device, they have full access to all of our research tools, all of our tutorials, all of the curriculum. Um, everything is built in in every device. Uh, beautifully, wonderfully, and um, mobile optimized. So as you as the professor, you'll I'm just going to pull my screen up here. Uh, you'll be able to see it. Basically, one of the other additions to this is that the menu itself has changed. So we used to have, we tried to fold a lot of things into a lot of different places, and it was getting hard for students to navigate, and professors too, for that matter, to know where they're going. So uh, if you're coming back to Stock Track for the first time in a while, just to run down how we changed the menu a bit, uh, we have a help menu up here. This is where you can find our FAQ pages, and at the end of the FAQ, there's a support form. But we've really been pushing over the last couple of years to push as much support as we can into the live chat. So the live chat, at any time during business hours, you can connect directly to our support team. Uh, you can either type messages or you can call. And an advantage of with the call is that it actually allows direct screen share. So if something's not working right, you don't have to worry about an email back and forth. Um, you can call, contact our support team directly. They'll do a screen share with you um, right built into the uh, app here. And we'll figure out exactly what's going on and we'll fix it immediately. So that actually has helped us reduce our support time from an average of you know one business day to get back to everybody, but now it's down to about an hour if you're, if you're using the uh, chat feature. If you do try to use the chat outside of our regular business hours, uh, particularly if your students try to, we do have kind of like a, an AI-powered bot that kind of guides them through the commonly asked questions, but then they can also want to support us, uh, submit a support ticket as well, which our support team will respond to in the morning. Um, otherwise, up here, you will find the dashboard. So the students and professors have their own separate dashboards. Uh, as a professor, you can also see what it looks like for the students, too. Uh, it's improved over previous years. We do a little bit better job of, if you're using our assignments feature, uh, making sure the students know what they're expected to accomplish each week. Uh, then there's their open positions page. I guess I'll switch over to that page so you can see it. And uh, switching to the student view here. Yeah, the training portfolio kind of quick 
snapshot of what's going on here, um, their open positions page. And what we've added here is if they don't, if they haven't actually put anything in their open positions yet, and you have equities allowed, we have a rotating list of the most commonly traded stocks. So just kind of to help them get an idea of how just something in their portfolio for the first trade. Uh, watch this they've had before. And, you know, all, there's nothing particularly new here, except that this dashboard now also exists on mobile, which previously it did not. Uh, we also launched our student blog in the spring, uh, information about finding uh, jobs after graduation, things you should be able to do to improve your job prospects after graduation. Uh, and we added that to the dashboard for students as well. Uh, otherwise, you have an edit profile page and achievements. These existed before. Um, if you're not aware of StockTrack's gamification elements, the achievements page features uh, badges students can earn as they're going throughout the platform, like as, as they make trades and things, which is just kind of a nice to show off on their uh, rankings page. Uh, under, my por under the portfolio simulation, there's three sections here. These used to be separate items in the menu. So everything about their portfolio, their open position, transaction history, etc., actually making a trade, easy access to each of the trading pits. You can see crypto is now its own pit, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, and all the tutorial videos to walk them to to actually how to make those trades within those pits. Uh, investing research has all of our research tools. We kind of break it down for them. Um, uh, we had also now have a special set section for mutual fund and ETF research. It used to be combined with the equities, but it's now it's kind of its own standalone section. Our learning center. So if you're using our assignment system, this is where your students can find all of their assignments, uh, all of the tasks they've assigned them for them to do. The administration, this is kind of a, we used to just have one admin menu, now we have two. There's the admin and there's reports. Admin is really what you're going to need at the start of your class. You're creating a new session, you're editing your class rules, you're setting up an assignment. Uh, this also has uh, the ability to see all of our tutorials for professors and things like that. Uh, after your class is already set up and going, then you're going to be mostly using the reports. So all the reports we've had before are here now. We just made it a little bit easier to access them. If you haven't explored our custom reports already, we released this about two years ago. That's a really good way to get exactly the data you want for your class. It's a lot more flexible than some of the other static reports we've had in the past. Uh, before I move on, any questions about the StockTrack 6? Team roster, team ranking. I'll get to the team rankings in a few minutes there. Uh, when you clear from the students from Dubai who are in different time, so will they be restricted to the artificial bot? Um, they're not restricted to the artificial bot because they can still submit regular support tickets, but we don't have support on staff outside of uh, basically market hours. So they won't get the full advantage of the chat bot or the, uh, the live chat, uh, but they will still have faster access to the commonly asked questions than they did before, where they used to have to kind of search for answers. Uh, they will still be able to submit support tickets, and they will still get a response within one business day. Can you make the stock track screen bigger and get rid of the half this KS? Hmm. I think that's a restriction on the screen sharing. That one I'm not sure how to do. Oh, okay, great. Um, so next up, the crypto trading pit. So we launched cryptocurrency trading two years ago, or three years ago, actually. Uh, but it's been combined with our equities trading pit until now. So basically stocks, ETFs, and cryptos. And you would, you could still turn cryptos on and off, but we've actually completely separated into its own trading pit. Uh, one of the things that means is that the we're going to be updating the pit itself to be a little bit closer to how a crypto trading pit normally looks. Uh, for example, there's some data we just don't have for crypto, like industry. That's going to drop off here because it never really made sense to begin with. Uh, but now we can customize this pit without impacting equities, and so we'll be doing so. From a professor's perspective, though, the most important part of the separated crypto trading pit is now you can set your own uh, trading rules for crypto. So you can see here, all of the security types that are separated in our system can have their own commission structure, position limit, and diversification limit. And now because crypto has hit its own pit, it can too. Uh, for review, a position limit means how much your students can put in any single crypto position. So you can say no more than 5% of your portfolio can be in Bitcoin, for example. Uh, diversification limit is how much your students can invest in crypto as a whole, like all crypto coins. So in this case, you might say no more than 25% of your portfolio can be in crypto. The rest has to be in equities or options or something else. So the the biggest uh, addition for a class is really having this level of control where that wasn't available before. 
Uh, next, we have option spreads. So option spreads, we actually are going to have a separate webinar in two weeks. Uh, our CEO, Mark Brookshire, is going to lead that webinar. He's going to go on option spreads in more detail, but I'll give you a high-level overview. Uh, if you were to use StockTrack years ago, we had an option spreads, spreads paid trading pit, but it only somewhat supported a couple different types of spreads. And so that was getting kind of frustrating for our users. And then if you tried to trade something outside of that kind of list of, I think, four or five spreads, it the margin calculations wouldn't work properly, it wouldn't lay some at the trade. So we've completely overhauled our option spreads trading from the ground up. And this has been in progress for over a year. This is kind of our big back-end project. So if you want to look at the option spreads pit ahead of the next, uh, ahead of the webinar that Mark will be giving in a couple weeks, you can go into StockTrack if you have a, a class that's set up or the uh, StockTrack Progressors Tournament. Under the Make a Trade, there's a new op, uh, field for option spreads because it's its own pit. Uh, the way we have it working here is that students select which type of spread they want, and we kind of walk them through it. So we give a description of what this spread is. Uh, well, I mean, the name, we give a description of how it's supposed to work to, so they understand what the profile is. There's a payout diagram showing what the, the pro profile is of the profit itself. And there's kind of a builder to in, enter the trade itself. So uh, I'll quickly just put in a Ford and... Expired week and it gives me the two both legs lets me pick the strike prices and make sure that what I'm selecting is valid for the type of strip spread I'm trying to actually enter. So that's a, a really big improvement compared to how we had handled option spreads before. Um, and also importantly, if students were to just go into the regular options trading pit and place trades one by one, it now will, will handle the uh, margin calculations as if they place them as a spread um, while they have all those positions open. So that we used to tell students in the past, oh, if you do, if the spread you wanted was not listed in the available spreads we had, you can just put the legs one by one, but it was just stacking the margin for each one. Now it actually, for example, you can, uh, one option can count towards the margin requirement of another, just like in the real trading world. So, uh, yeah, I, our CEO, Mark Berkshire, will be going that, through that in more detail, another webinar on August 16th. Um, but yeah, that's one of the biggest additions that we are making to trading this semester. Uh, yeah, this is a list of all of the spreads that we now support. There's 22 in total, which is fantastic. Um, that it covers basically all the most common um, spread types that exist. Now, teams. So... Uh, we launched Teams about two years ago for professors who had site licenses, but now it's available for all classes. The way Teams work is that after all your students have registered in your class and they're ready to start trading, or even after they started trading, you can create Teams. And what a team does is it aggregates the portfolios of the students into a team portfolio. So student one is has their million dollars to start with, student two has a million dollars to start with, they both make their own trades. Then if they're in a team together, they'll have a $2 million portfolio that combines all their open positions and all their uh, all their trades. So it allows them to, it gives you as the professor the ability to dive in and see what each student individually has done, but at the same time, they can uh, work together cooperatively as a team. Uh, team. Teams also has rankings. The team rankings has a, is based on the percentage return of the team portfolio, which means that, let's say you have different numbers of students in a team. Like right here, I have a one I've been setting up here. Uh, this team has three members. This member the team has two members. Even though this is a $3 million portfolio, this is a $2 million portfolio, the ranking is going to be adjusted to that because it's based on the percentage return of that $3 million or $2 million rather than just dollar amounts. Um, if you want to take advantage of the teams, uh, if you go to the admin section, there is a manage teams button here under admin resources. Uh, all of your students will be listed here on the left because they're, if, they're not, if they're not in a team yet. Uh, if you want to add a team, you click Create New Team. Just be aware team names must be unique, so maybe add your class name or something a little bit specific to this semester just to make sure that it's going to be available. And then all you need to do for, is for each student is tell them which team they're going into. If you are using our TA feature where you have a TA that has admin access to your class, they also can do this for you. This You don't need to necessarily do it yourself if you have help already. Um, once a team exists, you can t add or remove people from that team at any time. You click View Team, it'll show you people who are in there. You can kick people out. You can put them in some other team. You can rearrange them on the fly. So it's super straightforward to 
to actually manage the teams once you start using them. Uh, team roster alphabetical. So that does remind me, there's one feature that I forgot to mention in this. The reports, all of the reports that we have uh, on Stock Track, as of next week, you will be able to search and filter based on the student's uh, username, first name, or last name. So right now you can just filter on username, which is a little bit frustrating if you're trying to find one particular student. Uh, but the the all of the admin reports will have the ability to, to toggle which type of search you want to do and filter them all down. Can teams now go beyond one semester? Uh, if your school has a site license, yes, they can. If you're if you're just having students purchase their own accounts, they can reuse their account now with the Stock Track Six without re-registering from scratch. But they will have to pay an additional license fee for each class that they join. Because uh, the license fee depends on the length of the class and the number of trades that were allowed. But um, they are able to reuse accounts if that's what you're asking. Um, yep, we're at the questions and comments section now. So I will let you... Oh, uh, before we get into the questions and comments, actually, I'm going to give you a little taste of what we're working on for the next semester. So for professors who will use our personal finance resources in our budgeting game, I'm not going to get into too, too, too much detail because I know most of the professors here are, are teaching investing, but we have improved our budgeting game where if the students are doing the personal finance simulation, they now have like an apartment they need to manage uh, where they can buy and sell furniture and stuff to improve their quality of life. Uh, we'll talk about that in a different uh, blog post with a little video on it later for professors who use it. And our big thing that we are planning to launch for the spring is LMS integration. So Canvas, Blackboard, Moodle, um, D2L, all, all of the major LMSs we are working on support. That we expect to launch in uh, December or January, and but that will only be available for schools that have a site license because it does require a setup that requires site license keys. So if you just use uh, one class at a time, then it, we won't be able to support it for it, unfortunately. Uh, but we can we can uh, set up a meeting with our sales team to talk about how we can set that up uh, once I have a little bit more information at the end of this month. So yeah, any other questions or comments? Great. Um, one other uh, note, if you use one of our uh, white labeled sites, if you have a version of stock track that's branded for your school, you would have uh, been reached out to by your account manager. Uh, usually it's Ali Salahi for most of the schools. That one, that means that this semester you're going to be transitioning to the new version of the uh, white labeled version as well. The, one of the advantages of that is that if you're using a white label version previously, if you students came to just stocktrack.com and tried to log in, it wouldn't let them. Now it will. It'll take them to your branded version. And if you're using the white labeled version, uh, to, the students can use our app as well, whereas previously they could not. Okay, we're gonna end ten minutes. Oh, do you support how still support how the market works? How the market works? Yes, we do still have that site. Um, it's kind of our light limited version uh, that doesn't have most of the features, but yes, we do still support it. And then I have our ads built in now. We've always had ads on Stock Track. Um, we've actually reduced the number of ads that we had compared to the old version. Uh, for schools with site licenses, we also do remove all of the ads. It's, it's mostly just kind of messaging for students about um, what's going on in the finance industry as much as we can.
All right, if you have any other questions, my email address is here, ksmith at socktrack.com, uh, especially if you have any comments or things that we could be doing to make it easier for your class. Um, we try to prioritize as much as we possibly can uh, features that make it easier for professors to teach. So um, if there's something that you think would improve your class, I'm sure there's a dozen other professors who have the same idea and they haven't told us yet, and I would love to hear it. Um, otherwise, this webinar will be available uh, on the blog post for this uh, for our new features for this semester and we have another one coming up on August 16th really diving into the option spreads so thank you for joining me and have a great morning <laughs>